Let's review the vascular anatomy of the upper extremity as it pertains to dialysis axis. The light blue are the superficial veins and the dark blue are the deep veins of the arm and forearm. The two main superficial veins in the upper extremity that are used for dialysis axis are the cephalic vein and the basilic vein. The cephalic and the basilic vein connect at the anticubital fossa by the median cubital vein, also called median basilic vein. All three veins can be used for creation of dialysis axis. Ultimately, these superficial veins drain into the subclavian vein that then joins with the jugular veins in the neck to drain into the brachiocephalic vein. The brachiocephalic vein finally drains into the superior vena cava. The cephalic vein is an easy vein to use for axis creation as it's extremely superficial and goes along the lateral aspect of the arm and forearm in almost a straight line. The basilic vein is more tricky as it runs relatively deeper in the arm almost along the infra-axillary path and then continues medially into the forearm. Using the basilic vein for axis often involves superficializing it first, that is bringing it up along a more superficial plane to facilitate easier access for needle insertion. This procedure is called basilic vein transposition. With this, the basilic vein can now be used more conveniently for axis. Arteries are simpler as far as dialysis axis is concerned and are shown in red in this video. The subclavian artery becomes the axillary artery in the upper arm, which then continues down as the brachial artery. This is often used for access in the arm to create, for example, a brachiocephalic or a brachiobasilic fistula. The brachial artery at the level of the anticubital fossa divides into the radial and the ulnar artery. The ulnar artery is seldom used for access as it runs deep. The radial artery runs laterally in the forearm very close to the cephalic vein and makes a perfect setup for creation of the radiocephalic AV fistula at various points in the forearm. Now let's review the common dialysis axis sites in the arm. Axis is always created using distal veins first as long as they are adequately sized and healthy. This is done so as to preserve the proximal veins for potential future axis. So from distal to proximal, the three most common sites for AV fistula creation are radiocephalic in the wrist, brachiocephalic in the distal arm, and brachiobasilic more proximally and medially. In the absence of suitable forearm cephalic vein, the median cubital vein can be used along with the radial artery or the brachial artery to create an upper forearm or lower arm AV fistula. So when you see a patient post-fistula creation, the position of the scar can give you a clue as to what type of AV fistula it is. A scar around the wrist typically is from a radiocephalic fistula. A scar around the anticubital fossa is often indicative of a brachiocephalic fistula, and a linear vertical scar along the medial aspect of the arm typically points to a brachiobasilic fistula. The radial artery is used in 60 to 65% of the cases of fistula creation. It is fascinating, however, that a skilled vascular surgeon can find multiple different locations in addition to the three common ones to create dialysis axis along the forearm and arm.